Hello and welcome to another episode of our Hattrick Manager series. My name is Duba Daddy, and in today's episode we will be watching a game every live and then I will provide you an update of where we are at and what we're going to be doing going forward. And then to finish off we will look at our youth team and do a youth pool. So let's get into it. Before we go into our game, I don't know what the score is, so I'm excited to see this and share my reaction with you. We're playing Selhurst FC. Now, we played them away prior to this game, and we drew two. Selhurst FC, their new team in our division, and we got a man sent off in 44th minute while it was 1-1. Chance distribution, we had eight to their three, so probably for better team there. Possession, as you can see, 62% for us. I truly believe that we would have won that game, but we got the man sent off. So I feel like this is a bit of a revenge game going into it. We're going to be at home, so I'm expecting to win. Let's go have a look. All right, I'm only going to skip to the important parts. So this is a real life. I didn't watch it live. I was busy on Sunday night. I hopefully going forward, if I remember, we will do a live game. Probably if it's a promotion game to Division 4. Well, I'll probably live stream that, to be fair, because that's a big game. Right, let's get past all the team information. We're playing a 2 5 3 because we're doing passing training. So, obviously, I want to train up all my midfielders and my strikers. Playing my A team and not my friendly team. So, this is my strongest team. All right, four minutes in, we've just had an attempt. 2 5 3 formation is something we rarely, if ever, see from Selhurst. So, it seems like Selhurst are trying to match up ours, maybe. So, we've got a free kick. No my what a waste of shot here by oh wait a minute i thought this was a shot that had gone short and one to one and off to one side but this is a clever cross ball and zanon has got to go so i couldn't quite read all of that but zanon scores four for wanderers making it one nil he basically said that it was a free kick thought he was going to shoot but it turned into a cross and our player got the end of it and scored but 64 percent of possession remember last game we had 62 percent this is not looking good for Selhurst. A two attempts already got a goal. 12 minute played. They appear more confused as a team than they did earlier in the game. So their organisation has dropped down to five. Inadequate. Wonders look like a different team than in their last league match. They're on fire so far today. It's because we had a man turn off. Come on. Player down. It's Christopher Coslett. And it seems he has twisted his right ankle. Is he coming off? Oh, he's coming off. He needs physical therapy for one week. Created another chance. And a Selhurst player gets books. Wanderers is now giving out lessons on how to play football. It's 39th minute on the clock and we've had four chance distribution. One from right, one from central, one from left and one other. Two injuries. This one was a bit of a bruise. Bruiser, you can play on. And that's it. It's half time. We are winning 1-0. Happy with that. A review of game plan is just what Selhurst needed. They are now back to solid level of organisation. Then they dropped down to five. So they've gone up back to two. Thought they would just go back up to one. Now let's see. 4-4 four, four, 040 came through for turns to up 44,040. I was thinking, what's that? Is that a special code or is he going to come up with a joke? <laughs> 44,000, not bad, not bad at all. Some great work on the right wing by Wanderers. Zanon has opened up for midfield. Zanon shows his self selflessness as he back heels the ball to a trail and Wanderers pushing forward now. There's definitely some space to exploit here. Zanon looks to be running into it, screaming like mad for a pass. Pass it to Zanon. Oh my, a gorgeous looping cross from the right finds Zanon and he's got his foot on it. One, two, three moves and he's into a box just a keeper to beat. That's a lot of wording. No, he misfires and the ball goes wide by miles. Come on, got me all excited. Even tried to do my best commentary and impression. So has to confused again. They've dropped their organisation down by two again. What was it before? Solid, inadequate, solid, inadequate. Big question right now is Wanderers can convert their ball control into concrete goal scoring opportunity. 70% possession now. There may be more to come from Wanderers. Look here. I'm looking. Come on, I want to clear out this game. We've had five attempts, got one goal. They go for a long ball for target players, pushed over, in for struggle for the ball, and for referee calls, four for free kick. Four for a minute, it was going to be a um, penalty. Plenty of aims for the top left, but the goalkeeper is in complete control. Better luck next time. What is it? 74th minute. <sighs> 
So Hus could, could just get that one attempt and it'd be a draw. Don't want that to happen. A free kick for Wanderers on left. For home heroes, load for box. Plantilla just needs to get free kick in there. And anything can happen. Come on. No, he takes a direct shot. It rebounds off the bar. Is that no one going to get for rebound? Or has it gone out? The keeper grabs the ball on the way down. Wanderers are trying a left side attack. Is it going to be Plantilla again? Also some help from his colleagues. Ferk gets a ball and runs towards a away goal. He faces Selhurst goalkeeper. He shoots. Come on, Ferk. Yes. 2-0. Get in. Shouldn't really be a revenge game. I mean, we had a man sent off and they drew. But I went in that game thinking we should have won that. Competing for the ball in midfield. Wanderers finally get it and pass it to their left attack. Dominating per session. Can we get a third? Plantea receives the ball, but there are still a few visiting defenders between him and the away goal. They bring him down and Wanderers are awarded a free kick. Of course, Selhurst are dirty. We've only got one yellow card, but two injuries. The free kick is called over for defensive ball, but the keeper gets there in time to turn it past the post. Good goalkeeper. Very good goalkeeper. We should have scored more than this. 88th minute. Could there be one more attack? You can clearly see hope for that on many fans call for wedding for the official just announced two minutes of added time not like the world cup with all the injuries and the free kicks that we've had it should have been 10. Nine second minute it's all over we get the win yes so we won our game bit of revenge for getting that draw and getting a man sent off not revenge what's the word i want to be using let's go revenge i can't think of any word but yes great result let's just jump back to the previous season and as you can see we got third but we got 25 points we did all right we did all right we just need to get rid of those five losses really maybe four losses should have been I mean, what? No, I think Newark Rangers are second at the moment and they came fifth. So it just shows maybe they have the team, but they just forgot to select their team a few games and it just put them down there. That's what you can do. You only need to play it once a week, but because you only play it once a week, it's easy to forget. I try and do all my stuff on Friday. Today is now Monday. So ideally I should have done it on Friday, but I kind of wanted to show you a game and maybe Mondays are going to be my hat trick days. So looking at the previous table to current table we've only got what is it 14 games so six games left if they are top they're gonna win it i think we've already played them twice if i remember we've lost three times so ideally if we want to do better than last season in terms of losses we can only afford one more loss and we'll look at fixtures in a minute see where we're going but Selhurst, we played them twice we drew we won if we just jump into matches now on this outset of looking of my current it looks pretty good we haven't lost any games but if we go back in our league games and as you can see here's our three losses we lost to helix first game of the season five nil now if i go into my for lineup in that game i forgot to select my lineup i probably had an injury or a suspension in my defense and barlax barlax wasn't even a first team player a ellsworth not a first team player i mean it was it's just poor i had a poor team in and a player missing and obviously we lost five nil and then we lost to Newark rangers five nil at home again i forgot to do my team so it was a walkover i only I selected one two three four five six seven eight players so therefore it classes walkover we lost five nil two games where we should have been challenging newark rangers came fifth last season helix came fourth last season two games that we should have been challenging at least get a draw or win home game against newark rangers we should have won that and then if lee we lost three one by looking at that we still need to play if lee so we can guarantee that's going to be our fourth fourth loss never know you never know we could they could get a man sent off and we could get a draw just like Selhurst did to us so let's look at where we are going so what we got here we've got our friendly which is tomorrow I actually need to select my team for that and then we're playing for best city derby we should win those two then if Lee at home could we could we could get a draw there then we're playing Newark Rangers away a good team then Husky we should win that and then Helix so Newark Rangers and Helix both away but can we get those wins can we get those wins be good so ideally look at that one game hmm, we could go on being until under the end of the season just don't know so that's for update doing okay if we remember to set our teams we would have probably been doing better we need to remember it's like going in there once a week because if we miss a week we miss a week of setting up our teams week of training our second lots of players of getting a friendly in and then thirdly you miss a youth pool which 
talking about let's go do one all right first thing i need to do is get rid of one of my players because i've got a full squad and you can't do a youth pool unless you have a space for them to go in so uh i mean he's getting on a bit but i'm going to keep some youth players until they're 21 and then just get rid of yeah so i'm going to keep him he's playing a six he's playing a five and he's playing a 4.5 four and for ages aren't that different a 3.5 he's just an 18 he's not playing that well yeah he's not that great so i I am going to sack him. We don't want to promote him. Cost money to promote. Just have a quick look at my top players, at where they've got potentials of solids. We've got four of them. There you go. He's a solid playmaker already. So as soon as he's available to be promoted in 26 days, we want to promote him. So he's going to be a solid potential possible winger. So yeah, he could actually be good to jump into our team, I guess. Not in first team, but into our training team. Do I train him and then sell him? Could be good. 17 years old already he's not showing up as a solid playmaking yet and then he's nearly 17 68 days he could be a solid defending and then we've got a speciality one here with quick with solid passing potential again got to get got to get that revealed to show it like this all right let's go and call up for coaches all right first one let's see what comes up da -da -da, weak weak inadequate 16 nope call 16 weak inadequate brother of Ian Barlax. Oh, oh, why? Why do this to us? Ian Barlax. He has been with us since the beginning. Oh, what a legend. What a legend Ian Barlax is. Hmm. 16, 10 year difference. Paul Barlax. Nah, he's not good enough. I love that way, how they do that. I was going to just pull him in and bring him to my team. <laughs> But nah, and nah, passable. Now that I've seen this, maybe I should have brought him in. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. No one special. In our next video, I will take you through my Excel spreadsheet and show you the training. But just a quick thing. So we're doing passing. So Ludwig's gone up to excellent. Vera has gone up to inadequate. Uh, sorry, formidable. Ludwig's gone up to from excellent. So he's now nine. Vera's gone to passable. Bojo's gone to outstanding. And Gagliardi has gone solid Ludwig good little signing 1.3 million and bought him as a first team strike at that time and then we trained him in playmaking a bit of uh, defending now we're doing passing he's looking like a good little player I mean what's his uh, stars stars not that great but he does get a goal as you can see and if we go transfer compare we bought him for 1.3 million if you remember he's worth 3.1 million great bit of profit we will do these videos on a monthly basis i will try my best or at least i will do it every month i will try that's going to be my aim but because it's a new year and i need to put some aims in uh for the channel so hat trick is going to be once a month and if you're into football manager as well there's going to be one or two videos a week because i have a full-time job i have a family busy busy I try my best i am thinking now that i've got a nice camera i am thinking to do a stream Again, maybe once a week on hat trick on football manager. We will see. I don't know. Depends. I'll put some feelers out, see what people think through my social medias and uh, YouTube community and go from there. Thank you for watching and I hope I catch you on for the next video. If you want to continue watching videos from my channel, check this one out.